Massive open online courses, also known as MOOCs, are revolutionizing education by opening access to millions of people around the world. Professor Robert Greist is one of the first Penn professors to teach a course on Coursera, Penn's partner in online learning. My introduction to Coursera was at a meeting that was called by Provost Price uh, almost exactly one year ago, where Daphne Kohler, Andrew Ng came by, uh, presented their ideas for what they had in mind for open learning. As you might imagine, uh, that got me and just about everyone else in the room really excited. And I remember very clearly uh, beginning almost immediately to plan out what kind of course I might do. What would it look like if I were building something that the entire world could take a look at? As a Penn Integrates knowledge professor, Greist focuses on math and engineering. I'm a topologist. That's the type of mathematician who studies abstract space. It is a very visual subject. It deals with things like four-dimensional spaces, ten-dimensional spaces, and beyond. So when I do mathematics as part of my research, I think in pictures. But it is very difficult to transmit on a blackboard. However, with video and with some additional work getting the design and the animation just right, I can transmit the images that I see when I'm explaining a calculus subject to a broad audience. I started thinking, what could I do instead of a blackboard? I had the full capabilities of video, animation, color, motion, design. What could you do with that? When I realized that with sufficient work, it would be possible to get those images on screen and have them broadcast across the world, that really got me excited. Grice set to work preparing his undergraduate course titled Calculus, Single Variable. So the uh, primary piece of software that I used is uh, surprising to some people, PowerPoint. Nearly 50,000 students from more than 62 countries registered for Greist's calculus class. As we see more and more impact of open learning initiatives, that we're going to see a lot of professors step up to the plate and innovate and create beautiful courses. I certainly hope that this is the case. If we want even higher quality materials, it's going to take teams of people to do it. It's going to require uh, more than a professor in his study uh, working in the wee hours of the morning. We need good mechanisms for getting it out of the professor's head. Coursera has jumped in to fill the market gap for getting material from one screen to all the screens. But there's still that, that last uh, 20 inches from the professor's head to the laptop. We're at the early days of this. I fully anticipate that 10 years from now, we're going to look back at this first round of courses that we've built for Coursera and have a good laugh at how ridiculous they look and how primitive our technique was. Uh, I certainly think that my classroom teaching is going to be transformed by this experience. I, I feel more constrained when I'm at a chalkboard now. I wish I could grab an image and slide it over or move equations and insert things. I get a little frustrated now when I can't do that at the blackboard.